Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful, but a little bit chilly for May the 12th. It is 48 degrees here. Uh, but we got the sun shining over paradise in the end times on Wednesday, May 12th, 2021, as I begin year 12 of Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and uh, what should I do to kick off <coughs> year 12? I've somehow been keeping my mouth shut about this goddamn pipeline, this gas pipeline cyber attack, and uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's one of these things that I am um, that really gets a, uh, a fossil fuel slave eco-nazis panties in a wad uh, you know on, on one hand I'm 100% cheering these guys on uh, obviously I, I, has, have they even found out who these guys are I'm wondering if it was some uh, eight-year-old Hindu boy in a mud hut in Pakistan shutting down the uh, the East Coast gasoline supply from a computer just I just can't wrap my head around this shit it's kind of like cryptocurrency I guess uh, no one can explain to me how you can shut down a fucking uh, God damn it uh, major gas pipeline from a remote computer but uh, and then I don't even know if the story's real uh, and, you know the eco Nazi conspiracy wacko in me I was just saying yesterday uh, you, you know if, if the New World Order ever wants to uh, depopulate us the first thing they do is they shut down the damn gas pumps. That is step number one. You shut down <clears throat> the fossil fuels. You shut down the grid. Uh, you shut down the interstate highway system and you shut down the internet. Uh, you do those, those four things and you will have a depopulation agenda in full swing and uh, y y you know uh, I, I pretty much am believing the, uh, the mainstream media run on this one but, but who the hell knows you know but, but certainly what it points out you know if some eight-year-old boy uh, in a fucking mud hut in Pakistan can shut down uh, the main gas supply line to the eastern United States from a remote computer. Uh, imagine being the, the motherfucker who, you know, who runs the computer. Since I don't, I have never seen any, any reason why it is up what's in it for the New World Order, of course, the <clears throat> price of gas. Uh, you know, my God, I am, what am I doing? I'm taking a gas-sucking truck, <clears throat> I'm dropping off a gas-sucking chainsaw for some tinkering on it, I'm picking up my gas-sucking lawnmower. Uh, your old eco-Nazi, uh, his entire day here is invested into keeping the goddamn gasoline running. Uh, my entire day is revolving around gas-sucking, planet-eating uh, monstrosities. And the very thought of the gas pumps running dry, I mean, strikes more fear into this little eco-Nazi's heart and then, uh, good God, then you take your fucking Corona panic and <clears throat> your fear of death and uh, take all of that shit, bundle it together. The, the very thought 
of uh, pulling up to the the gas station here <clears throat> in upstate New York and founding finding the pump pumps have run dry. I mean, have you, have you been reading this shit? I guess where was it? Wilmington. Was it Wilmington, North Carolina? More than 60% of the gas pumps uh, are dry. Uh, in Raleigh, it's more than 50%. In fucking Atlanta, Georgia, more than 40% of the gas stations uh, in a city of, what, 6 million people have run dry and how many days? Five? I'm surprised it took five days for 40% to run out. Uh, you know, so, so whether, whatever the truth behind this is, whether it really is these cyber attackers, whether it's the owner of the fucking uh, oil companies wanting to jack up the price of their product, uh, whatever. I, I, I mean, if, if this is an, an example of uh, the, the narrow ledge we walk on, good God, I don't know what story is. Well, we had that thing from the Suez Canal a few weeks ago. One fucking ship gets hung up on a sandbar uh, and the goddamn Suez Canal, 12% of global trade shuts down. Some damn hacker doing something, uh, hitting some uh, keystrokes on some computer somewhere on the planet. Uh, millions of people are, are looking at no gas in their gas-sucking cars. Uh, Anywho. So, do we cheer on the uh, eight-year-old Hindu boys in mud huts in Pakistan, or this is the conflicted world of a fossil fuel addicted eco-Nazi? But anyway, it is a gorgeous day to be uh, gassing up. God damn it, and I forgot the gas can for the lawnmower. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> I went out to the damn shed, got the gas sucking, uh, got the goddamn gas sucking, what do you call it? Uh, chainsaw and just the empty lawnmower gas can just sitting right there. I am fucking believable that I left that, uh, that I left that goddamn gas can sitting there. Anywho, that will be another trip to the gas station, but I am, uh, I am on full baby full. I am tanked up to the top on my gas sucking truck. Anywho, coming into the gas station now, let's look at, see if there's, there doesn't seem to be any hoarding. The price of gas has not gone up one penny. The gas, there's one car at the gas pumps. I see no sign of hoarding. I guess it's not as far north. It's mostly the southeast. Uh, let's check the second gas station in town. See if we see any price gouging and hoarding going on. Uh, trying to keep a lid on the fucking gasoline hoarders as Mad Max unfolds. I love it. The energy secretary saying everything is going to be back to normal. Yes, back to normal in two or three days. Uh, the definition of back to normal. Where have we heard where have we heard that claim? How many times in the past year 
have we heard everything will soon be back to normal all right let's look at the second gas station in town uh, not one car at the gas station the price of gas is where it was uh, yesterday you can see the cop is posted right outside the gas station hoarding gas I'm not exactly sure how you do hoard gas uh, but you better believe there's plenty of people hoarding gas if you read the road uh, in that book the message in that book which I apparently I, am I the only person who understood the message in the road uh, was he who has the fossil fuels wins that uh, you know talking about the Mad Max how long of a period did the road cover was that about I'm thinking about six months and the people at the who were still alive uh, at the end of that book were the people who still had access to fossil fuels they were the people who uh, made it through Mad Max although you know I never saw the sequel to the road which I guess would be called what uh, the curb uh, when those guys ran out of fossil fuels so at the end of the road there were still people who had hoarded fossil fuels going into Mad Max that came out the other side although it begs the question of what the fuck then uh, you know, James Howard Kunstler would say we're getting back to a world made by hand you will see here is the Amish furniture maker going past the Amish furniture maker even these Amish guys up here uh, you know all of their sawmills and where they make furniture they've got fucking uh, gas and electricity in their sawmills they don't seem to in their houses but those that the Amish uh, guys unless I have these confused with some other uh, group they seem like they all have fucking gas powered uh, sawmills so I don't get it anyway a world made by hand we shall see <clears throat> see about that but it is a world made by fossil fuels right now a world made by fossil fuels and uh, I am coming into the chainsaw shop I got the chainsaw shop I got the lawnmower shop and the liquor store are my three stops for the day yes the Three most important things in the life of any eco Nazi chainsaw, lawnmower, and liquor. At least we can make liquor by hand. Uh, there will be no shortage of liquor in Mad Max. It might not be exactly top shelf liquor. See, this is another one of those fracker supply places. Uh, I am in New York. Uh, but I right now I am six miles from Pennsylvania so these places they they're in New York but they service the frackers uh, starting about six miles from here it is a good all my anti-hero Andrew Cuomo is the uh, only thing standing between New York and the frackers as much as I don't care for that little masked Nazi in chief uh, the son of a bitch has some balls uh, Andrew Cuomo has some balls standing up to those damn frackers there's the fish hatchery I'm gonna go stock my pond with catfish in a few days and hope it doesn't go dry 
Oh well, I am coming into the chainsaw shop. The steel chainsaw shop. Look at that beautiful chainsaw. Power and paddle. What they sell here at the chainsaw shop is uh, <clears throat> they sell power saws in kayaks. <laughs> anyway, try to appreciate a name of a business called Power and Paddle. Anyway, I got to get out there and start enjoying my fossil fuels while I still can. And I highly suggest you enjoy your fossil fuels while you still can. Bye, guys.